Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be sharing with you a haul video. I know I've been gone for a while and I do apologize for that, but uh, I am back and I'm going to be doing a lot more videos, so stay tuned for those. Um, but for now I'm going to be doing a quick little like collective haul video and showing you some of the things I've picked up, some things that I really have been enjoying, and um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy this video. First thing is going to be MAC products. Um, I don't really know where I left off. I've been just kind of collecting over the past few months. Not a whole lot. I've been really proud of myself. I've been really just toning it down and just using up some things that I really like. But I have picked up a few items. First thing is Smoked Ruby by MAC. And this was part of the semi-precious collection. This was the only thing I picked up that I felt was really unique. It's a super pretty darkened black and burgundy color and I do a lot of smoky eyes as you guys know it's my favorite thing to wear on the eyes so um, so yeah that's it right there super pretty love it how it flashes like a coppery almost color I really like it glad I picked that up um, next I picked up from a CCO perennial high style which is this really pretty color it came out with Liberty of London and it's this super pretty pinky coral color. It's perfect for every day. It's a nice cream. Um, there's no shimmer in it. And it's just super pretty. And I love this. Um, I wear it with so many different th lipsticks. And I also wear it by itself. It doesn't collect or get weird as some milky products from MAC can. Um, it's very similar to Coral Reef by Revlon. But it's actually pinkier and less orange. So I feel like I can wear this like during any time of the year. Not just summer. So that's Coral Reef and that's Perennial High Style. So I'm really glad I picked it up. It is different than Coral Reef, so I'm happy about that, which is why I initially didn't purchase it. So I'm glad I picked it up. Next thing is the Pro Longwear Luster Lip Color, and this is a night rose. I've been wanting this forever, and I was just waiting in line, and um, I picked this up and tried it, and I just absolutely I had to get it right away. Um, this lasted on me, I think, like eight hours. Um, you just have to reapply like a gloss. This is the color. It's a nice, like, taupey um, plum color. It's perfect for fall. That's a better swatch of it. Um, it's just really nice. It's a nice natural color without being too much and too intense. But at the same time, it's the perfect going out color. I wish I could just buy this lip gloss because it's so pretty. It's like a Reflex Pearl. And it's also a brush applicator. Let me put some on top of it a little bit. I would seriously just buy this lip gloss if I could because it's just so pretty. It gives this this really nice shimmery plumping effect. And um, yeah, it looks like silvery, but it's super pretty on top of lipstick. So love it. Um, and like I said, like I, I think I ate like three greasy pieces of pizza with this and it stayed on. It was like amazing. So just really, really love it. Totally worth $22 and I'll be picking up more colors, I think. Okay, the next is an eyeshadow from MAC, and I picked this up a while ago, and I don't know if I told you guys, um, but it's cork eyeshadow. I don't know how I lived without this. It's seriously the perfect, like, medium brown color. There's a swatch of it. It's super pretty, very easily wearable. I'm wearing it today in my crease, just really lightly, and it looks really good when paired with Kid eyeshadow by MAC or Wedge. So I really like that. Um, what else? Oh, I've been really into grays lately. I picked up Pen Curl, which was from the Love Lace collection. And this um, I picked up at a CCO. And it's a nice light pale white gray with a pinky tint to it. That's what it looks like. Super pretty. Absolutely love this. Glad I picked it up. I don't have anything quite like it. Um, you can pick up Vex, which is very similar, I guess, and that's part of the permanent line. Next, I picked up Swell Baby, which is part of the Surf USA collection. Um, it's, a like again, another gray. I've been really into grays. Um, it's like a medium gray, and it's a nice satin finish. Not too dark, not too light. Perfect for the crease, like a transitional color. Um, it's really, really nice. I love using it for smoky looks. Next I picked up the Double Feature Number 2 eyeshadow from MAC, 
and I absolutely love this. I highly recommend it. This gray color is amazing. It's super pigmented, and it's a lot darker than the other grays that I picked up. There it is right there. It's got a nice sheen to it, almost like a metallic sheen. The chartreuse shade in it is very, very pretty. And I'm going to show you guys a comparison. There it is right there. It's super pigmented. This is exactly what I wanted bitter eyeshadow to be. It's coming up more yellow on screen, but it is more of a chartreuse green. Love it. Looks very similar if you guys remember the Tempting Quad. This right here, this eyeshadow is very similar only. I've always had to put Ferro Paint Pot under it to make it super intense to be exactly this color. Um, my Ferro Paint Pot is like cracking and it's getting old and I was really worried about it because I can't quite find a color like this intense and this color is totally it so I'm really glad I got it um, even though I do have a similar color or whatever um, I have been looking for a replacement for my ferro paint pot and this eyeshadow so anyway really glad I got it love it next product um, I think that's it for the MAC products yeah um, next product I picked up is a NARS eyeliner. This is the Larger Than Life Longwear Eyeliner. I picked this up in, I don't know, it's the gray one. I can't remember the name of it. I'll list it in the down bar. Again, just really into grays. This is waterproof. They are not kidding. Um, it's fantastic. It's this really wearable gray color. And I love it because it's a little bit like less intense than a black eyeliner and I really like to just do like a nice winged liner with a little bit of like a light gray eyeshadow in the crease and it's just a really wearable look. Love it for fall. Definitely interesting, a um, little bit different than what I'm used to. So I really like it. Once it's on, literally you cannot make it budge. This will stay on probably for a few days on my hand. <laughs> so really like it, but you'll have to use an oil, um, like an oil based remover. Uh, to get it off. Next, when I was at the CCO, I picked up the Estee Lauder Peach Nuance, which is a super pretty blush. It's a gradient. As you can see, it's more of like a coral, then it turns more um, like a lighter peach, and then like a yellow. You can actually get the gradient effect on your cheeks, or you can mix them all together and get this super pretty peachy color. Um, it reminds me of like NARS Orgasm without the shimmer. So super excited to have this. This is what it looks like. Really wearable, really pretty. I'm gonna have to show you guys what it looks like. But it comes with a mirror. Um, nice packaging, it's a little cheapy, but um, I paid 18 for it at the CCO and just super excited that I got it. So really like it. Um, the next thing are two nail polishes. The first one is by Sally Hansen, Extreme Wear, and this is in Twinkle Twinkle. Love this glitter. If you love glitter, you need to get this. It's got holographic, um, hexagonal glitter, and also fine silver glitter to it. So it's super pretty. Been pairing it with the First Mate by China Glaze. Oh my god, it looks like there's a galaxy on your nails. I'm not even kidding you. Love that. So if you haven't picked this up, it's like three bucks at Target. In love. Next is the Wet n Wild Fast Dry Nail Polish, and this is in Party of Five Glitters. So there's silver hexagonal glitter, um, looks like there's red, hot pink, light blue, and teal. So it's really, really, really pretty, fun to wear over like turned up turquoise by China Glaze. Absolutely love this. I'm sure you guys will see this on my nails, but it's like party in a bottle. And it was like two bucks. Love that. Um, what else? Oh yeah, I got this by Lancome. This is the Eclate Miracle um, Serum of Light Complexion Illuminator. It's really, really great. Um, you mix it in with your foundation. Of course, I use my Miracle Foundation by Lancome. And you can use it with other ones, but I notice that the effect is not as intense as it is when you use it with the Miracle Foundation. This is like a silvery white luster drop. Um, as you guys know, MAC makes luster drops. Very similar to Luster Drops, so I can't say it's worth the price. Um, this is like a silvery white color, and I would say if you're like NC30 or darker, this may look really ashy and weird on you because it's like seriously a white. And you, when you mix it in with your um, foundation, it makes you nice and gluey and, doughy, uh, and dewy and all that, but it's not worth the price. So, I mean, I like that I got it for free, but I can't say I would like purchase it for like $40 or whatever it is. Um, 
Last thing is the Revlon Color Burst Lip Color in Strawberry 006. Super pretty. I don't like the applicator. It's so flimsy and a weird shape. It's a nice strawberry corally red color. It's very wearable. If you're scared of reds, this is a nice color to try. Um, it's got a lot of shimmer in it, which can kind of feel a little gritty, but it's nice. I don't know if I would, like, buy any more of these. Um, maybe without the shimmer. But it is nice, and I got this for free from my Ulta, like, rewards thing. Um, oh, the Body Shop. I picked up a couple items from the Body Shop, which I have to rave about. This is the Deo Dry, the Dry Effect Deodorant. It's a nice roller, and, um... The scent that I picked out was cool and zesty, so it's got almost like a like a minty, basil-y, herby smell, and it smells really nice, but it doesn't like make you smell like that. Um, it's really nice. It it's the best deodorant I've ever tried in terms of the crystal deodorant. You guys know I was using the organic crystal deodorant, and that's what I I will only use. Um, I don't use anything with like the aluminum in it. So this is really great absolutely love it. You should give it a try if you like more natural deodorants. Um, next, I picked up the Satsuma Shower Gel, and I've been using this for months, so this is my second bottle of it. I absolutely love it. This was 15 I think. It smells like oranges and um, sweet tarts. Absolutely amazing. Hydrating. Feels great on the skin. It smells super great. It doesn't interfere with perfumes, though, which I love. Favorite body wash of all time, for sure. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I picked up. Um, just a couple fragrances. Pink Sugar by Aqualina and also L'Occitane's Peony fragrance. Super sophisticated. Absolutely love it. One squirt will do ya. The Pink Sugar, just gotten lots of compliments on it about how nice I smell. It smells like vanilla and sugar. It's an amazing smell. And neither of those have given me headaches. So... Anyway, that's uh, that's what I've picked up recently, or at least that I can remember that I've picked up recently. I've probably picked out more, um, but I've been trying to not buy as much. Um, so yeah, I've got a lot more videos on the way, I promise you guys. Um, so just keep an eye out for my videos. I'm just really glad to be back, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching my video. I'll talk to you later. Bye.